mother of peace and love. You can't allow this to happen. Please, talk to me. Tell me what to do to stop this calamity. Talk to me, Nemiri. Speak to me, Nemiri. Nemiri, arise. Nemiri, arise. Nemiri, arise. Nemiri, arise. Arise, Nemiri, great mother of peace. Arise, Nemiri, great goddess of truth and justice. Arise, Nemiri, great mother to protect our children. Bro, see, eh? honestly speaking, I am very happy that it is our last city. I say that again. I can't just wait to leave this godforsaken village and return back to the city so I can live a very normal life. Hey, hey, hey. My G, hmm? are you trying to tell me that you've been living an abnormal life here in this village? I thought you've been busy and enjoying all those uh, local champions. Me? <laughs> <laughs> <This village. laughs> <laughs> enjoy? What am I enjoying? What will I be doing with all this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Tell me. Da, da, da. No, da, da, da. Nah, you know it's not possible. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you a simple truth. Okay. Life in this village is, is not worth it. It's not worth it. The life in the city is far much better than the here. Mm -hmm. right. Our colleagues over there in the city are doing very well. Most of them have even secured good jobs for themselves. But here we are in this village, just suffering. We don't even have hope of getting a, new, a good job when we live here. Come on, think about this thing now. And you are telling me, enjoy, what, what are we enjoying? But there is nothing to enjoy, my brother. Oh, you know the enjoy, um, now tell me. When you leave this village, what will happen to Neka? <laughs> what will happen to Rosemary? <laughs> what will happen to Zero back here? <laughs> yes, the door is open. Come right in. You, sir. <laughs> hey. Chum, good day. How are you? Are you alright? I'm fine. Not this way. Please, can I see you outside? Outside? Uh, uh, bro, don't worry. Let me just go back to my room. Uh, maybe we will talk uh, another later. Mm. Okay. My guy, I'll see you. I'll take you. Uh, Thanks, man. All right, bro. Yeah. Take care. <laughs> going to seriously deny me at this point? Uh, no, 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 no. I, uh, pardon my manners. And I'm sorry for sounding that way. I, I never meant to ask the question. I'm sorry. See, I, I don't know what to do right now. It is a taboo in our community for a girl to get pregnant outside weight block. I need to remove this thing before anyone finds out. Why? No way. I disagree with you. Ah. No, Dizzy, what do you mean by no way? Listen. 
if anyone finds out that I am pregnant outside wedlock, I will face the wrath of the land. I will be treated like an outcast. And that, that I cannot bear. I just, I just want to remove this thing. I only came here for you to give me money so I can take it out. That's why I'm here. I, fine, I, 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 still, I still stand my ground. She, she, she can't terminate the pregnancy. Uh, okay, um, uh, my love, I, I will marry you. Hmm? Yes. What me? I, I don't understand. Naduzi. Let me remind you that you are just an ordinary copper. Now tell me, what will you have that kind of money to meet up with our people's high demand of traditional rights? Tell me, how are we going to survive after the wedding? Uh, you see, um, I'm a man. You see, after our youth service, I, 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 I will get a job, I will, I will apply for a job, I will get a job, then um, I will take care of you. you see, I, I will hustle, I will hustle, I will show them my responsibilities, okay? Are you serious? Yes, I, I am serious. I cross my heart. I love you so much. You are my world best. I love you. <laughs> Mother. Yes, my son. The food tastes so nice. I really like it. <laughs> you like it. I prepared it because I know it's your favorite. Mm. Oh, yeah? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Mom. Is it? I can't remember when I had a meal as good as this. You're welcome, my son. Well, don't worry, my dear. You are back. Anything you like, you will eat. I, I trust your mother. She is equal to that. And your highness, you know I will always do that. Trust me. All right, uh, President Nandozi. Oh, don't go. Just me. How was your stay at um, Iwaha community? Oh, the people are so nice. Okay. Lovely. Okay. Accommodating and so friendly. The only problem is that um, they are not exposed to basic amenities that make them live a memorable life. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. How then do people survive there? Oh, they survive by the agricultural produce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't stay there. Why? Why? <laughs> you have to. You have to. <laughs> you have to. See, see, see. When it is your time to serve, whatever they post you, you whether developed or undeveloped, you have to go there. But yeah, that is what they call the national call. Yes. I know it's a national call, but can't I choose where to serve? <laughs> <laughs> can't I choose that where to serve? Ah, oh, guess what? Do you know what happened there? The very day I arrived there, Mom. Ah! Okay, okay. Ah! What is it? What? Ah! 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 Ah
the respected servant of the great goddess, Nemiru. I greet you specially. I greet you in return, oh no, noble man of the land. To what do I owe this visit? Where's the wine? No, no, they are not here, The midnight bed does not whistle in vain. Oh no! Hmm? Oh no! Everyone in this kingdom knows that men who run the affairs of this land are wise. Go straight to why you are here. I know you did not come here to show me how wonderful you are with Proverbs. Oh, well, well, no, 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 not really. Um, I'm sorry about it. Prince Nadozi, the heir apparent to the throne of Ubuama in your Google kingdom. Returned a few days ago from a youth service program. And something strange happened on his return. This morning, as we speak now, Prince Nadozi is lying critically in the hospital. And the king has asked me to come and find out from the gods what could be the cause of the problem. That is why I'm here. Go and tell the king that what will be, will be. Uh, 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 are, you, are you saying he will be well again? You cannot speak when the gods have not spoken. The ways of the gods are different from the ways of men. Go and tell the king as I have said. Oh no. Go! What is it? It's not Ozzy. Ever since he left for his place, he has refused to call me. His phone has been switched off. So is that why you're crying? He promised to call me. They all promise the same thing. Even marriage. Just open your eyes and see that you have been dumped. I warned you about that guy. I told you that coppers are not to be trusted because each time they are posted to this community for their primary assignment, they end up using our girls and dumping them once they pass out. Dozier is different. He's not like that. So what makes him different? He promised to call me. You will not understand. They all promise the same thing. Even marriage. But all are lies and deceit. Just open your eyes and face reality. I cannot forget about him. Why? I see. You are in love. It is complicated. It is very simple. Uncomplicate it. Close this chapter, open another one with someone in this community and move on with your life. It is, it is very simple. Chama, you will not understand. I do. You don't. Remember, I've been a victim of the same circumstance. This one is different. <gasps> Mr. Bechi, is there something you're not telling me? Where is he? Yes, Your Majesty. How is the prince doing today? He is not getting any better. And I am afraid. I don't know what is becoming of all of this. <sighs> Gods of my fathers, please let nothing happen to my son. See. Please. Thank you. 
Your Highness, yes. I suggest we fly him abroad before this thing turns into something bigger than what you think. Hmm. I think you have a point there. You have a point. Thank well, you. delay can be dangerous. Delay can be dangerous. You won't believe that Ono Wu and uh, SZG are sent to as a came back without anything tangible. Are you serious? Hmm. It is more serious than we think. This is serious. By the way, where is Prince Sabina? My king, he went to his school to defend his project. But he said that he will branch off to the, to the hospital to see his brother, Prince Nandose. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Cheer up. Cheer up, Ukwese. I'm afraid. Cheer up. I am very optimistic that my prince will pull through. That reminds me, my prince. What is the current condition of your elder brother, Prince Nadozi? Prince Nadozi is not getting any better. He's in pain. This is really serious. Does that mean nothing could be done to get him back to his feet? We are trying our best. Though my father is planning on sending him abroad as soon as possible. I think your father has a point. Since nothing could be done to get him back to his feet here in the country. Yes, so. I will be going to Iwo our community for your friend's traditional marriage. Will you come with me? Yeah. You, you, you told me. But I'm really sorry, my prince. That very day I'll be having something very important to do. That means I will drive alone. But what about your girl, Sharon? Sharon is not available. I really, I really wish there is something I could have done, my prince. Your Highness. Yes. We have come to inquire about the head condition of our hair apparently true. Yes. Yes. Mm. Thank you very much, my chase. Thank you for your concern. Yeah, but we all know that uh, the prince was flown abroad for treatment. But I spoke with the doctor in charge this morning, and he told me that the prince has started responding to treatment. Oh, may the gods be praised. Uh, oh, yes, you know, we, we are so worried about Prince Nadozia's health and the fate of this kingdom, considering the, the, the messages that have been coming from him. It's, 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 it's quite disheartening. You see, my chiefs, I must confess to you that I'm glad to have people like you in my cabinet. You have always stood by me, whether in good times or bad times. And I say, may the gods of our land continue to provide for you people. You see, oh yes. We want to assure you that we will always stand by your side. Eh? No matter what, we will never let you down. At all times. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Onyeze, you, you know that Maz was your son, mm. the one that stays abroad. Was, OK. Yes, 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 uh, yes. Uh, he, he sent a message to his father mm -hmm. that he has the plans of building a very big company in our kingdom here. Mm -hmm. But that he, the problem he's having is the land where to situate. Uh, oh, oh, yes, sir. In fact, oh, no, who is very, very correct. Uh, in, my, in my own opinion, I think we should start considering giving him part of the land uh, by the water side. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, the, that land is a very yeah, big. Yes. Uh, if we add the other one, also. No, you can take all It's okay. The other it's end. all right. I have heard you. I have heard you. I'll look into it. Huh? I will. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. <laughs>
Oh, yeah, yeah. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? I told you I wanted us to talk after the wedding ceremony. But you left without my consent. I'm sorry, Prince Obina. Why did you leave? Are you avoiding me? No, it's just that I have to come home to do some things for my father before he returns. Listen, Uzume. I like you. I am looking for something in a woman. Trust me, you have what I'm looking for. So please, give me the opportunity to prove how much I care. I can't. Why? I just can't. Do you have a boyfriend? No. What's the problem? Why don't you like me? No. I do. It's just I can't date anybody for now. <sighs> Why? Why can't you date anybody for now? You will not understand. This will make me understand. Oh, yes. Prince Obina, please, I cannot date you. I just can't date you. Okay. It's all good. Let me not push further. Well, I'm lodged that um, ZM suit in 205. In case you change your mind and want to come around, I will really appreciate that, okay? A lucky cash. You need to set to me. Choma, what are you talking about? Oh, please. Stop the pretense. That young man that just drove out of your compound. He's a big cash. Mm. A prince. And he smells money too. I am looking forward to seeing you happy again. He's asking me out, but I refuse. Eh? Let me pretend I didn't hear that. Chum, I'm very serious. Who's bitch? What is wrong with you? Do you like poverty? God has finally sent someone to take you and your family out of this suffering, but you don't want it to happen. I don't want to believe you're about to make the biggest mistake of your life. Choma, you will not understand. I am in a big mess right now. My whole world is messed up. And I do not know whom to run to. I don't know why all this is happening. I don't know. Miss Rachel, talk to me. What is going on? I am your friend. Open up to me. Promise me you will not say it to anyone, not even my father. I promise you, I will not stab you in the back. I'm pregnant. You're what? So, who is responsible? Nadozi. Did you tell him before he left? 
Yes, I did. And he promised to marry me. And now he has left me to face this shame and humiliation all by myself. Uzubechi, you need to cover up this mess before any other person finds out. How? When next are you seeing Prince Obi now? He asked me to see him at his guest house where he's lodged this evening. But I declined. Zubeti, <laughs> listen to me. You're going to see him. And make sure he sleeps with you. Yes. Make sure he sleeps with you so that he will accept this pregnancy. No! Chuma, I can't. I won't. Zubechi, do I need to remind you of what you're going to be facing if our people find out that you're pregnant out of wedlock? Do I? <laughs> Finally, I have found this precious pot of mine which I've been looking for. Oh, gods of my fatherland. I thank you very much for making it possible for me to see this pot. What would I have done without this pot? Now I can go home. I can go home with this pot and begin to enjoy myself. Ah, eh, oh, 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 Forbid. It is not possible. Your Majesty. Yes. Why are you looking this terrified? Just had a very bad dream. In fact, the same dream. All these few days. The same dream. The same dream about the golden pots. Exactly. Exactly. The way I have been saying it. What is happening? What is going on? Don't you think I'm the last person you should ask that question? Speak, my king! For my ears are wide open to hear you. As one, I have been having this particular dream for the past few days now. What is the dream all about, my king? I, I found this golden pot filled with a lot of diamonds and gold. Then I picked the golden pot. But suddenly, the pot fell out of my hands and uh, broke. Then, suddenly, the, the, the gold and diamond in the pot all turned into a big python and started chasing after me. This is not a good dream, my king. Not at all. That is why I'm here, as a man. I need your help. I need you to explain to me the meaning of this dream and what it is all about. Hmm. Come with me, my king. Come with me. <laughs> Eh, 
Not say anything, my king. But I want you to know that this is a very bad dream. My love, you sounded urgent when you called me on the phone. I hope all is well. All is well, my prince. But first, what can I offer you? Let me get you something. Don't worry about that. Tell me why you called. Um, I... I really don't know how to say this. I... I think I'm pregnant. No, I am pregnant. Uzube. My prince. Nzube. My prince. Nzube, this joke is expensive. Be serious. My prince, I am serious. I ran a pregnancy test and it confirmed that I am pregnant. Yes, my prince. This is good news. I'm so glad to hear this. Huh? This is good news. I'm excited about it. You're pregnant. For real? Yes. You mean you are not angry? Angry about what? Listen, I will tell my parents immediately so we can do the needful. Are you for real? Are you serious? Nzube, I swear by the gods of our land, I must marry you. <gasps> Why are you slept with him? What is the problem? Father, I'm sorry. I know you people will be wondering why I called this emergency meeting. Well, it's because of the girl I met at Iwoha when I went for a friend's traditional marriage. So, what about the girl? Um, this might sound strange, but I love her and I want to marry her. My prince, you met a girl and suddenly you want to marry her. Are you alright? Um, this might break your heart, mom, but she's pregnant as we speak. And in her place, it's a taboo for a young girl to get pregnant outside marriage. So I want to marry her. You, my son, a prince, want to marry a girl you suddenly met out of pity and not for love? I am totally disappointed at you. It's okay. It's okay, because it's alright. Um, Obina, yes, this very girl, who is her father? What is her name? Her name is Uzube Chuku. Her father is a nobody. Anyway, I've said it several times that none of my grandchild will be raised outside this palace. No. So whatever support you need from us, whatever thing you need from us, we will give it to you. You will marry that girl. 
You just made my night. Thank you very much, Father. Thank you. Are you called me? Yes, my daughter. Sit down. There is this young man that came in here earlier today. Do you know him very well? Yes, Father. I know him. He's Prince Obina from Obama in your kingdom. He said that to me. Uh, do you know him very well that you want to marry him? Yes, Father. I know him very well. Hmm. I hope you are not saying yes because he's a prince and he comes from a wealthy family. Listen, my daughter, take this as a word of advice. Marriage is not something you dumble into because of material things. Father God, don't you know your daughter again? I am not after material things. Actually, I love him and that's why I accepted him. Mm. Yes, Father. <laughs> that guy Melly? <laughs> no, no, tell me. If I want to drive life away from shit, will I eat the shit? Banana. No. <laughs> no so banana. now, are you now telling me to send words to them to commence the marital rights immediately? Yes, Father, please do. Mm. There's no time. Okay, I'll get wrong. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> it is said that he who finds a wife finds find a, a good, good thing. thing. <laughs> that's all right. You can now go back to your room. Okay. Hmm? Thank you, Father. Thank you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, So it's true. What's true? You claim to be very busy. Reasons you do not have time for us. Of course I have been very busy lately. Liar! You are a bloody liar! You were seeing another girl. Deny it! Deny you were not seeing another girl! Deny you have not been lying to me all this while! Deny it! Listen, I'm sorry, okay? And I promise to love you. I promise that we're gonna spend the rest of our lives together. I promised you all that, but I'm sorry. Things changed. Yes. I, d I don't understand that. The point is I'm getting married soon. And you're not in the picture. Uh, no, my prince. You're joking, right? You, you, you can't do that to me. You, you, you promised to love me forever. You promised you would spend the rest of your life with me. What, what are you trying to do? I promised all that, but I lost the feelings. As in, I don't know. I don't know how to pretend. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was waiting for the right time to tell you, but since you have come to realize that I'm no longer interested in your own way, better. Why are you doing this? Why are you treating me like this? Why? I don't know what to say. I said I'm sorry. I'm no longer feeling you. And you know me. I don't know how to pretend. The chemistry is dead. The connection is nowhere to be found. I'm no longer feeling you. So I'm sorry. Uh, uh, you're no longer feeling me? Uh -huh. You were no longer feeling me? Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry. I will not let it happen. I will not. She has to come through me before she can assess you. She has to come through you before she can assess me. Meaning as my mother or what? I don't get it. That wedding will not hold. I'm very happy. 
Very happy to see you return back to us in Paris. <laughs> Your Majesty, I am the happiest person on earth today. Mm. My son, I prayed and I cried unto the gods to spare your life for me. And I'm happy they did. Oh, mom, thank you very much. Indeed, the gods had your prayer. They did, I'm sure. I'm a Madiroko fella. It wasn't easy. But thank the gods, I made it. My brother. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So excited to see you again. <laughs> My brother, we all missed you. <laughs> and we all prayed for the gods to bring you back home safe and sound. Yes. And here you are. Mm. It simply means the gods are with us. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. I'm a Malaysian way, Zadat Ananda. The king's son does not get lost in a foreign land. Never. I thank the gods for bringing you back and on time too. Mm. You know, your younger brother's wife's official introduction to the throne is tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> 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 Hey! 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 I'm glad you're back because I can't imagine my introduction without my other brother. Yeah. <laughs> um, mom. Yeah. Dad? Uh, excuse me, I need to take this call. A call? Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay. No problem, my son. Yeah. No problem. Hello? Uh, no, no. Um, yes, yes. Uh, I didn't just the food will be served soon. Mm -hmm. oh, but, but this calls for celebration now. Of course! Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 What are you doing here? Are you not supposed to be with your friend and his wife on a day like this that she's been presented to the throne? Sharon, let's just say I've come to see you. Why? How do you even get to know I was here? Come on, Sharon. I've known you too well to know that this place is your favorite spot. Come on, how are you? Did he put you up to this? What? Did Prince Obina put you up to spy on me and give him feedback? Sharon, you're getting me confused. This is ridiculous. What is more ridiculous? If you sitting before me, get out! Wait, Sharon. I I know you don't mean that. David, get up and do something very stupid. Get out! Okay, it's fine. No problems. I'll leave. But Sharon, take it easy with the alcohol. Come on, you're better than this. You can do more better. Sharon, you're very beautiful. Your Highness, may you live long. Yes, sir. Her Majesty, oh, no. may you live long as well. Yes, sir. My people, today is a special day in the history of our land. 
And this moment is this most sacred moment, the long-awaited hour, the official presentation of Prince Obina's wife to the royal home. My king, yes. permit me to call upon Prince Obina to step forward with his wife so that the ritual will commence officially. You can come. You are welcome, my son. Thank you, Father. Yes, my prince. Go ahead. Go ahead and unveil her for the king to see and perform the needed ritual. My people, with joy, I present the love of my life, Uzubechi Okoye. Zubechi. What? 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 Zube, my love. Yeah? This is not happening. What? Zube is mine. She belongs to me. Yeah. My prince, how, how do you mean? We've known each other for a very long time. Oh. As a matter of fact, I have plans of making her my wife. Hey, 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 please, please, please. No, no, no. Stop this drama. No, no. Stop this drama, Nadozi. No, Don't embarrass your brother, please. Ah. Not, to, not today. Please. Dad, this is not a drama. I am saying the truth. Uh, 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 it's okay. It's alright. It's alright. Mr. Bechi, what do you have to say? Wonders shall never end. How could Prince Inadoze, who just returned from his medical treatment, claim to be in a relationship with the bride of Prince Obina? I am trying to understand how possible it is. Why are you two talking like this? Prince Inadoze was born and brought up in this kingdom. It is very possible he's saying the truth. I don't think so. Prince Obina is right. Something is wrong with Prince Inadusi. Uchechi. <laughs> Mind your mouth. Oh. But she might not be far from the truth. Prince Inadusi actually acted strange. But that doesn't mean she should be the one to say it. Don't you all know we are all going to be in trouble if they get to find out? I just pity poor Sharon. What will be her fate? What do you mean? The priest dumps her for a village girl. Uchechi. This is your mouth will definitely put into trouble. But it's no longer a news that she's a village girl. Mm -hmm. She is a lucky village girl. The two priests are fighting over her. I wish I'm in her shoes. It is now clear that you need to visit the Asian wine shrine so she can wipe off your imaginations. Lucky girl, my foot. You, this girl, one day I will deal with you. When you're the lady. Nadazia. Obina. I must say that I am disappointed at the show of shame you people displayed out there earlier today. You people proved to everyone out there that, 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 that you, you, you are not qualified to be prince of this kingdom, let alone taking over from me when I'm gone. So I called both of you here now so that I catch exactly what went wrong. 
so that we trust that issue here now. Father, yeah. I'm sorry about what happened. But Nadozie here is just being childish. Nzubechi is mine. She's even carrying my baby. So what is he saying? What? What child are you talking about? Nadozie. Does it mean that you didn't hear him or what? The young girl is already carrying your brother's child. So please, I beg you to stop. Stop the fight. Mother, the child in question is mine. Unzibe was already pregnant from before I left you or her community. What? <laughs> Did I hear you well? Yes, father. You heard me well. It's obvious the doctor had treated Nadozi abroad made mistake. And that mistake is affecting his sense of reasoning. He has gone bananas. Because no man in his right senses will be dragging another man's child. What are you saying? What are you trying to do? Nadozi, you are mad. You are mad. Oh, now you are very stupid. Oh, now you are mad. Be very Don't dare you get close to my woman, else I will put you where you belong. You are just a fucking dog and trust me. Keep quiet. Don't lay your hands on my woman, else I will deal with you. Keep quiet. You mean I will tell you. I will put you in your cage, you mean I said quiet, both of you. What is wrong with these boys? Because what is wrong with both of you? Have you, have you, have you, have you both gone crazy? Eh? Why are both of you fighting like mad dog over a little boy? Why? Why are you bent on dragging the name of this royal family in the mud? If you cannot handle this little matter, then how would you be able to handle the affairs of this community after me? Get out of my side, one of you. Get out. I said, get out. I said, get out. You, get out. Why, Jeru? I will deal with you. Now, Lolo, I will get into this issue later, but warn your sons. Tell them. Yes, Your Majesty. Tell them. I will do that. Jay. Chuma, I am finished. <laughs> I am finished, Choma. It's okay, Uzube. Take it easy. Hey! Uzube, it's okay. <laughs> Remember you're pregnant. Exactly my point. Exactly my point. Choma, is it not better my life come to an end? Mm. Uzube, it's okay. Stop sounding this way, okay? Everything will be fine. Choma, you needed to be there. You needed to see what happened. I didn't know he's a prince. I just want to go home. I just want to go home right now. I want to go home. I want to go home. I just want to go home. It's okay. You know you can't go home in this condition. <laughs> eh? Think. What do you think people will do if they find out that you're pregnant? <laughs> Listen to me. I am here for you. Oh? Just calm down. Let's think of the route of this situation. How? How, Shuma? How? These two men are brothers. How on earth can I undo this? How? My lies has finally caught up with me! Hey! do you trust me? Hey! Stop sounding this way. Oh, just stop crying. Let me concentrate and know the best way out of this. Did you just say best way out of this? Yes. You heard me right. The only situation on earth that has no solution is death. 
as for this particular situation, you're coming out of it. This is as good as death, Nuzubechi. Is it not? Is it not better I die than to find myself in this situation? Nuzubechi, you're not going to die. <sighs> Nothing is going to happen to you. Okay? Listen to me. Just stop crying. Stop crying. Let me think of the best way out of this. And don't say a word to anyone else. And don't mention a word to anyone. You're not scared of me or what? Of course, you know I can't do anything in this life to hurt you. I am here to get answers straight from you. Tell me, why are you hurting me? My love, why are you doing this to us? I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Am I crazy or something? My love, look straight into my eyes and tell me you don't know what I'm talking about. Well, go ahead and do it. Look in my eyes and tell me you don't know what I'm talking about. Why are you doing this to us? Why are you causing me this pain? Why are you breaking my heart? Have you forgotten so soon? Have you forgotten how we started? The love we shared? The promises we made to each other? My love. I gave you my heart. I gave you my soul. I gave you my body. I gave you everything for you to be happy. Why are you turning your back on me? Why? Please, come back to me. I still love you. I said, I do not know what you are talking about. <coughs> Don't touch me. <coughs> Why are you bent on destroying my happiness? Why are you a joy killer? Stay clear. I am warning you. Stay clear. <gasps> My prince! You don't want people like me. You don't want people like me. I said, stop that! You stop this madness! I this will do something that this kingdom will regret. Do you understand? Nah. Obina, mind what you are doing, Obina! I said, stop that! Take your hand off me. I said, stop this madness right now. Leave him! Tell your useless son to stay off my woman, else my he won't survive my heat. My, 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 my prince, my prince, my prince, please. 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 No. no, 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 no. I will teach you a lesson that will never forget in your life. No, 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 my prince. Don't I think you can beat me to this? Please don't do this. Don't do it. Don't do it, please. I don't think you can beat me to this. Both of you don't think you can beat me to this. Obina, Obina, you are too small for me. Both of you should stop this. Stop this. Stop this nonsense. Both of you. Please, don't do it, please. Don't do it. Don't let me bring out my gun. This is nonsense. Robin, I said, stay clear. This is nonsense. Stay clear. Stay clear. Stay clear. Stay clear. Stay clear. Stay clear. 
Please. Get me down! Your father, the king, is standing here. You can't even accord him some respect. We, the elders, are here. And you are displaying this nonsense. Hey! Nadozi, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Very Daddy had to warn him. That warned him to stay away from my woman. Listen to me. Both of you are pushing me so hard. If you push me further, be very careful. Very, very careful. Didn't you see how the king acted? when he saw his two sons fighting each other? Njoku, the issue among the princes is already a very heavy weight on the king's shoulder. The man is tired. I think the king is weak. If he cannot resolve an ordinary issue between his two sons, he should be considered weak. Oh no, Njoku, no. There's no point calling our king a failure. Eh? I'm very much sure that this matter will be resolved. Eh? He, our king has a whole lot of issues to attend to. He's just being a human. Eh? Don't worry, he will attend to all this gradually. Eh? Well, if you say so, no problem. We just pray that the issue doesn't get out of hand. Because Whatever affects the head affects every other part of the body. The recent characters of the two princes is demeaning. We shouldn't allow our children to emulate. Mm, you're right. <clears throat> we, we will talk to the king about this before Obama in Yokugu is set on fire. Eh? <laughs> Let's just say I've come to see you. Can we talk now? If I say no, will you insist with what you want? Sharon, why do you see me as an enemy? Come on, we've been friends. We've been very good friends, Sharon. All really changed. I know you're hurting from the breakup, but come on, Sharon. I'm here to make you happy. I'm here to walk you through the pain, Sharon. I'm here to make you feel I'm here to make you feel better, Sharon. Your best friend dumped me for God knows who. He broke my heart. You were there all along. You knew of his intention. You did not stop him. You did not even give me a hint. Does that make you my friend? No. Sorry we can't be friends. I'm sorry. Sharon. Sharon, I'm here. I'm reaching out to you. Please hear me out. Please. I'm done talking with you. Sharon, I'm not going anywhere then. What did you say? That you were not going anywhere? Yes, I'm not going anywhere until I talk to your friend. Is that you mad or you're crazy? What is wrong with you? No, no, how can you come into my apartment and give me orders? Sharon, you and I know fully well that I'm not moved by the voice you're raising. So, calm down. You see? This is your problem. You have always been like this. Always wanting to have things your way. Reasons I did not accept you. This is it. Really, Sharon? Is that the way you see me? Is that what you think of me, Sharon? Come on, Sharon. I'm better than this. I've always, I've always wanted to be the best man in your life, Sharon. I've always wanted to make you happy. I've always wanted to... I've al Sharon, come on. I've always wanted to make you the best woman in my life. But 
you never saw all these things. Instead, you left me for Prince Obina. Es excuse me. Are you trying to say I, I went for the prince? Yes, Sharon, you did. You left me for the prince. And you and I know this. Maybe I'm not the kind of man you wanted. But, but you never said a word to me. You, you didn't show me any sign like you wanted us together. You acted like we're just friends and you gave me what I gave back to you. Sharon, you and I know that this is not the truth, Sharon. <laughs> Come on. I've, I've, always, I've always told you how much I loved you. I've always told you how much... How much I feel for you, Sharon. I've always wanted to show you to the whole world, Sharon. I've always wanted to make you very happy around me, Sharon. But I guess you never saw all this. Come on. I think you have been a little harsh on him. How long have you been standing there? I heard everything. I mean, everything the both of you said to each other. Monica, why? You know, I don't like people if dropping when I'm discussing with people. I am not people. I am your best friend. So take it easy. Uh, your Highness. I left all I was doing as soon as the, the palace guard told me he needed to see me. Your Highness, I hope everything is fine. David. Yes, Your Highness. Are you still the nice boy? The very good boy from a very responsible family that I used to know? Yes, Your Majesty. I I'm still that very David you used to know. I hope all is well, Your Majesty. David, all is not well. And he won't tell me that you do not know what is going on between my two sons and this palace. I am aware, Your Majesty. Good. Now tell me the truth, David. My son, Prince Obina, is your friend. Is he saying the truth about this girl? My king. Honestly, this whole thing looks like a drama to me as well. I don't know who's saying the truth amongst the two princes. But I know that uh, some time ago, Prince Obina told me that he, he has found a girl he needed to make his wife. But I never knew she was already pregnant for him. Okay. Which means you were surprised when you got to know that the girl was carrying his baby. Yes, Your Majesty. I am more than surprised. All right. It's okay. You're welcome. Nzu, what is it? Eh? You look so quiet and moody. I am your friend and sister. Tell me what the problem is. Hmm? Chum, are you seriously asking me what the problem is? Really? You're asking me what the problem is when you already know what the problem is. Nzube, I, I don't want to believe you're still bothering yourself over nothing. Choma, do you know the gravity of the situation that is on ground right now? And you sit there and make it look like it's a very, very simple thing. Nzube, don't mess things up by yourself. I've already told you what to do. Just go and do it and everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. And you think it's that easy? No, I know it's not easy. But no matter how difficult it looks like, you have to make it very simple. But I can't. I can't. Nzubechi, telling these people the truth will only make you a loser. They will see you as someone without self-respect. Yeah, Cheap okay. and loose woman. And if that happens, the king will not allow any of his sons to marry you. They will send you out of this palace. Do you really want to face the wrath of the people of the Wuha community? Okay. 
what are you doing here? I think the question here should be Why are you here? What's your mission here? I don't understand. What do you mean by why am I here? Prince Inna Duzie and his younger brother Prince Ubina have been living in peace for years and suddenly you just appear from nowhere <laughs> and you're trying to tear them apart and who told you she's here to tear them apart? Ask him. Actually, I haven't come here to brag what's with you. I've only come here to talk some senses into her. So young lady, I beg you in the name of whatsoever thing you respect, please unravel this situation. And what exactly do I have to unravel? Huh? Oh, come on. Where on earth have you ever heard that a young lady got pregnant for two young men at the same time, two biological brothers. Come on, something is wrong somewhere. And you are the only one who can help us out of this situation. And what makes you think you can walk in here and, and, and say whatever you want to say? You know what? I want you to leave this room. Get yourself out. Get leave! Out. I called this meeting. Because I want to bring this madness to an end. Here and now. So, Mr. Bechi, what relationship do you have, or did you ever have with my son, Prince Nadozi? Speak, or have you gone deaf and dumb? Don't waste our time here. Go, where is it? It's all right. Please allow her. Talk to me, Mr. Bechi. What do you have? with my son, Nadozie. I do not have anything with him. I have never seen him or had anything to do with him. In fact, the very first day I stepped my feet into this palace was the first time to see him in my entire life. My love, you're lying. And you know it. You are lying. Tell the truth. Father, don't, don't, don't listen to her. She's not telling the truth. Nadozie! Give it up. The game is over. Now listen to me, Nadozie. You're my first son. The heir apparent to my throne. Everyone here knows it. Please behave like one. Henceforth, I want you to take away your face, your eyes, everything about you from this girl. She belongs to your younger brother, okay. Prince Obina. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Agadina Wofe. Agadina Wofe. Stay clear. Makan Onyeri, Edigwe. Onyeri, Edigwe. This case is settled today. May you live your life. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. Baby. Are you okay? I'm fine. I just want to be left alone. Nothing. I am fine. It's just that I am. I've never been in such a situation before. I just need some time to clear my head. All right, I... I understand. Take your time, okay? Trust me, you will pull through this. I love you. I love you too. Oh. 
What have I gotten myself into? What a world. Love. Indeed. Love is very wicked. Love. That food that looks and smells so nice when served. It's so delicious when eating. Yet, beneath it lies a very dangerous poison that is worse than the venom of a cobra. Love, indeed, you are very wicked and dangerous. Nzube, why did you do this to me? Why do you have to hurt the heart that loves you so much? Why do you have to betray me after all the love we shared? No, please stop. I love you. I love you so much. But I don't just want to do it with you. Why are you sounding this way? Listen, it will be very painful for me to sleep with you and you leave me. But I will never leave you. That's what you always say. After sleeping with a person and then you abandon the person. This day, I swear to our bond kids, I will never leave you no matter what happens. I am not you with everything that makes me who I am. It's okay, it's okay. Look, if you do not want to do it, fine. I'll give you that your hand. I will never touch you, okay? Are you for real? You have just proven to me that you are a real man. Jesse, take me. Take me and do to me whatever you wish. Are you sure, please? My love. Come. Come. Show me the man. Nzube. Nzube. Why? Nzube. Is this the love we promised each other? Why did you have to throw away what we shared just in this frame of time? Love. 
thank you for showing me the worst side of you today. I am indeed grateful. Agatha, why didn't I see you yesterday as planned? I was very busy with work at the palace. I'm really sorry for not coming. Please forgive me. Have you done what I asked you to do? Yes, there's a problem. What situation? Wait, wait, Agatha. Don't tell me you've not been able to do the little assignment I gave to you. I don't understand. Agatha, are you still with me on this? Or have you been bought over? I hate that girl's passion. I honestly want to leave the palace. Did I just hear you say wanted? Meaning you've changed your mind? Yesterday you have not eaten anything. For how long will you continue to do this to yourself? Mom, am I crazy? Mom, do you think something is wrong with me? Mom, do I have mental issues? No! None of the above. Nothing is wrong with you. Mom, then tell me. Why did she choose to lie against me, Mom? Why? Mom, Nusube and I had a very strong connection. Mom was seriously in love when she took him and she told me she was pregnant for me. Mom, I accepted. And I plan to make her my wife and she accepted. Why did she lie against me? How can she and my born child slipped off my hands just like that? Mama, I am going crazy. I need an answer. Something's going on. Someone just tell me what's yeah, going on. Calm down. Calm down. Ma, mom, calm down, you said. How do you expect me to calm down, mom? Tell me. How do you expect me to calm down? Mom, I'm losing it. I am going crazy. Why would she lie against me, mom? Why? My son. If you are truly sure that pregnancy belongs to you, then you should not worry yourself. I will speak with your father to talk to his way to go for a paternity test so they can be determined with the mother of you who owns the child. You promise you will do that for me? my word for you. <laughs> but before then, you just have to start eating now. <laughs> I, Mom, for that singular reason, I will eat. I, I promise you, I will eat. Should I call the baby? Yes, Mama. Tell them to get my food for me. I will eat. Thank you. 
Ah. What is it? What do you really want from me? Sharon, I want you. Why? Oh, you want to finish what your friend started? Why would you want to ruin my life? What have I done to deserve this? Look, this has nothing to do with my friend, Prince Obina. This is about me. This is about what I feel for you, Sharon. Don't you get it? David. The more I look for one reason to trust you, the more I get a thousand and one not to do so. Come on, Sharon. You are the one stopping yourself. Come on. You just have to loosen up a bit. I need to be left alone. Sharon, wait. Are you asking I should leave your house? You know, one thing I like about you is that you're very smart, very intelligent. I am happy you got it yourself. Now get out! Sharon, you're getting these things too far. Sharon, ah, please! Talk to Nemiri. Tell her what you want her to do for you. She is listening. Nemiri, as a wine. Was in a million table. Nemiri, you are the mother of love, peace, and justice. I have come to you with a broken heart. For that which belongs to me has been taken away from me, and there is nothing I can do. Nemiri, in a funny fe, in a funny more. I have come that you shall fight for me and give back to me what rightfully belongs to me and expose everyone that is behind this. Are you sure that that which you are fighting for is truly yours? For if Nemiri finds out that that which you claim to be yours is not yours, she will not be happy with you. Nemiri, you are the mother of love, peace, and justice. What I am fighting for belongs to me, and I am sure of what I am saying. What do you have for the sacrifice? Nemiri, I have nothing but only money. Then do that which is needful. Drop it. Arise, Nemiri, the great mother of peace. Arise, Nemi, the great goddess of truth and justice. Arise, Nemi, the great mother that protects our children. It is done. Go home. Thank you, as a wine, Nemiri, for I know you're the mother of peace, love, and justice. I greet you once more. You're welcome, my son. Go home. Uzubechi, Papa. I can't believe you are this stupid. I did not train you to be what you have become today. How can you get pregnant for a man who has not married you properly? Do you know what will become of you if our people hear of this? By the way, why are they still keeping you here? Why is it that they have not come to do the marital rights? Papa, good day, sir. Good day, Kevin. Papa, can't you recognize me? I don't know you. I don't recognize you. Papa, look at me very well. I believe you can recognize me. 
It seems I've seen someone this face some somewhere before. My name is Nina Dozi. I was a cop at the Uwaha community. That was the day I visited your daughter and you cautioned me not to visit her anymore. Mm, I think I can remember. Uh, uh, but uh, are you a prince? Thank God you remember me. At least I have a witness. I want you to follow me to see the, my father, the king. I want you to talk to him. Baba, 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 no, 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 please, please don't, don't, don't. don't, don't, don't. Why are you stopping him? Why? Everyone needs to know the truth. What truth? Baba, follow me. Let's go. Mm, 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 mm. What truth? What is going on here? Natuzi, please, please, don't do this, I beg you, please. My prince, the king wants to see everybody in the living room. He said immediately. That's okay. I'm coming right away. <laughs> Papa, please, we need to go and see my father now. <laughs> what? What is going on here? Please, can someone explain to me what is going on here? What is it? What is your problem? Sharon, you're my problem. How? Look, David, your parents should bury their heads in shame for giving birth to a son like you. Whose problem is the girl who does not even have an atom of love for him? Are you this shameless? Sharon, don't you get it? Can't you see I'm stupidly in love with you, Sharon? And I'm not even ashamed of it. And I am not interested. I do not want you. Sharon, you know something? Honestly, I blame myself for letting my friend come close to you and do the things he did with you. Sharon, I don't want to make that kind of mistakes again. I've sworn to do everything it takes to make you happy, Sharon. David, are you sick? Do you have your problem with your, with your brain? Eh? I said I do not want to get out! Sharon, please. At least give us some time. Just, just give us some time. We, you just have, have to talk this over. Davy, Dave, darling. You want some time. Okay, um, give me a moment, I'll be back. I'll give to deserve this. You know what? Thank you very much. But this, I promise you, it can never change my feelings for you, Charlie. Sharon! That was bad of you, Sharon! Why did you go that far? Seeing that idiot reminds me of everything I went through with his friend. And he should pay for what his friend did to you, Sharon. That's bad. Listen very careful. Look very well before you leave. Understand? And don't say I did not warn you. Excuse me. I have seen the paternity test result. My wife went to the hospital yesterday and she came back with it. The result says that... Uh, Your Highness. Yes, what is it? Some group of people are outside. They want to see you, sir. Please tell them that I am in a very serious meeting. That I'll see them later. As you please, Your Highness. Go ahead. Sorry, I, I, as I was saying, the result says that Prince Nadozi here is not the father of the baby. No, something is wrong. Something is definitely wrong somewhere. No, Dad, that result is incorrect. That result is not correct, Dad. Nadozi. It is not. Nadozi. I have had enough of your drama in this family. And that madness 
will stop henceforth. Did you hear me? Your Highness, I'm no longer happy. I have come here today to let you know how very unhappy I am. My daughter has overstayed here, yet your people have not come to do the right thing. Despite the fact that she is pregnant, or the woman to have... Uh, Ichi, I understand how you feel. Please calm down. Calm down. Uh, I am assuring you that with the latest development now, we will be coming for the material rights very soon. Okay? Uh, I ask that you please forgive the royal family. We will right all the wrongs. I've heard you. Only do it, man. It's okay. It's all right. What? Um, Sharon, see, I just got off the phone with David. Listen, he seems to be a nice guy and mean well for you. Monica, I don't want him. Listen, my dear, I understand how you feel. But I think all you need to do right now is give him a chance and... Let the love swing. Monica, I am going through tough time. I mean, I am crying my eyes out because of the love I have for someone who betrayed me for a native girl. Can you beat that? I know. I understand Prince Obina betrayed your love. But can't you read the handwriting on the wall? It's obvious he is not the man in your life. He is not the man for you. Just let him go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my darling friend. At least you understand. Yes, but then you still have to give David a chance. And I still have to be very careful. Just a chance. Is this really possible? How on earth can this be possible? What is really going on? How did I find myself in all this? What am I going to do now? How will I be able to clean this mess? I really feel for Prince Nadus. Why do you say so? What do you mean? Don't tell me you don't have human feelings. What feelings? Huh? How can he be claiming what doesn't belong to him? But he's in love with her. <laughs> what kind of stupid love is that? Eh? Don't you know it's an abomination to be in love with your brother's wife? But they are not yet legally married. So, he can now go ahead and fall in love with her. Listen to me. Be mindful of the things you see in this palace, okay? As you can see, eh? <laughs> you already know I was busy in the kitchen. I'm going back to work. My like God. Isabel. 
If you choose to leave me, there are better ways of doing that. Instead of playing these dirty games just to hurt me. You're the cost of this. You abandoned me the moment you left my community. Not as you hurt me. You used me. You dumped me. Tell me, what was I supposed to do? Isabel, I never abandoned you. I never used you. I did not dump you. So they go out there and tell the truth. Do the needful, Isabel. Isabel. Do you know how empty I feel each time I look into your eyes? To the place I, I want you back. What are you doing? Stop this! Stop it! I want to be left alone. I want to be left alone. My life is empty without you. Isabelchi, you really need to come out of this mood. Does it look like I care? You think it's easy for me to come out from this mood? Mm. You just have to share. I'm going to share. My lady. Agatha, what is it? My queen asked me to bring these dresses for you to make any of your choice for your former introduction. Drop them in my room. I am not in the mood for this right now. The queen will not be happy. I said, take it! Put it in there! Get out of here! Take it out of this place! Nonsense is this. Who's with that? Wasn't nice. You were too harsh on her. Does it look like I care? Please. Don't spoil things with your attitude, okay? Just calm down, everything will be alright. What is going on here, Enzube? The maid said you didn't look at the dresses I bought for you, let alone picking any. I am sorry, Your Majesty. A lot of things on my mind right now. Oh, my dear. You can talk to me about it. Does it have anything to do with Nadoze? Or is it still troubling you? No. I'm fine, Your Majesty. And does it have anything to do with the pregnancy? Your Majesty, I am fine. It's okay. If you don't want to talk to me about it, you can at least share up. So that the king will not think we are maltreating you. Okay? I've heard you, Your Majesty. Good. Share up. Share up, ma'am. <laughs> That's yeah. very funny, right? Yes! <laughs> okay. Have I ever told you how beautiful you are? Say it again. Okay. Have I ever for words told you how beautiful you are? <laughs> You're very beautiful. Thank you. And you are cute. You're handsome. Um, I've always had my eyes on you, but I've just been a girl. What you forget to say? <laughs> <laughs> you are very naughty. <laughs> but that's good anyway. And I, my love, I've, I've always waited for a day like this. The day is here? Yeah. Is it? <laughs> and I thank the gods for bringing me here to me. <laughs> and, uh, and taking away Prince Obin. Okay, it's fine. This is meant to be. 
Yeah, there we are there. sounded so urgent on the phone when you called. Yes, because I don't have time on my side. Uh, sorry, my prince. Uh, what time are you talking about? Come on, David. My marriage is around the corner. I'm getting married soon. So I need you by my side as my friend all through. <laughs> Wait, this, this is not happening, my prince. You, you mean you're telling me that you've already fixed the date? Listen, we are starting with formal introduction. You know the other date was postponed due to what happened on that day. Okay. We're moving on. <laughs> My prince, this is wonderful. <laughs> I have another good news. You know you're full of surprises, My prince. According to the medical report, the pregnancy is mine. <laughs> this is wonderful. This is a great news, my prince. This is wonderful. Let's just have a toast. Honestly, but that reminds me. Where is your wife? Where is she? My wife said she needs space. That she has been through a lot. That she needs space to put herself together. I was like, okay, take your time. 
Yeah. I, I think she has a point. You know she's a woman and actually she has been through a lot of problems and, and, and pressures these days. Uh, I think she has a point. So tell me, what are we wearing on that date? Uh, sure, sure I'm dressed already. Uh, don't worry, don't worry. I'm actually waiting for him to come over so we can uh, uh, proceed to the place. No, 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 don't, don't worry. Don't worry about that. We'll be there in a couple of minutes. Okay, I'll call you back. Uh, welcome, my prince. Thank you. My prince, you don't look very happy today. What's the problem? Please, sit down. Dave, I learned you were at the palace earlier today. Uh, yes, my prince. I was actually at the palace earlier today. I hope everything is fine. My younger brother, your friend, is pushing me to the wall. Sorry, sorry, my prince. How do you mean? He is not giving up. He has vowed not to give up on that which belongs to me. But my prince, I, I thought the paternity test proved that uh, the pregnancy belongs to, to, to your younger brother, Prince Obinna. Oh. He told you that. He did. Look, let me tell you something. I am convinced that he manipulated the result. He had a hand in that, he wants to play a smart one on me. But let him tell you something, tell him that he can't take his baby from me. His baby belongs to me. His baby is mine, his baby is my woman. Listen, I don't want to do what I will do that all of us will live to regret it. But my... I've spoken to him like my kid brother doesn't want to listen to me. I know he's your friend. Talking to you, I know the message you get to him, so tell him to quit. Tell him to leave. Tell him to leave my woman alone. His baby belongs to me. It worked. It's enough for the wise. What kind of temptation is this? Today, Prince Obina, today, Prince uh, Obina, tomorrow, uh, Prince Nina, this. What? Ah. Obina. You think you can come from nowhere and take what rightfully belongs to me? You think you can take my joy away? You are a fool. A big fool. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're dragging a woman with your younger brother. You. Listen. Unzube is mine. And nothing can change that. If you dare me. If you dare me, I will fight you with everything that makes me mad. And you know what I mean, so. Quiet! One Zali you are for. It challenges each to a wrestling contest. Obin, I swear. I swear if you dare me, I will show you the other side of me that will live to regret. Do I look afraid? You are just an empty vessel. You love noise. Um, quiet! Do not be a stubborn fly. That will cost you Why, What is all this madness for? Eh? I thought we have settled all this. Why are you people bent on destroying me and the entire royal family? Why? I am very disappointed at the both of you. What is the meaning of this? Will you stop that nonsense? Is he supposed to be dragging a woman with me? You should be ashamed of yourself. Stop it! Now, drop that gun. Drop it or I, I disown the, the, the two of you right now. I won't. Disown me. If he dare me, Father, I will deal with him. But I will destroy him! Listen, I'm tired of talking. One more step, just one step and I will blow your brain. <laughs> one step! Hey, 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 hey. That! That! What are you doing? That! What? That! You dead!
what is the meaning of this dream? Could it be that my kid brother is planning evil against me? Or any member of this palace? How did we get to this point? But I can fold my hands and watch my younger one collect what trifling belongs to me. No. That will make me a fool. That will make me a coward. And that is a trace that cannot be found mm. in the life of Fisher King of this great kingdom. No. No, I won't give up. I can't give up. Why are you not sleeping by this time of the night? Chuma, I can't sleep. Sleep has eluded me. I do not have peace of mind. What do you mean by that? Stop pretending like you do not know what I am talking about. My conscience is disturbing me. Uzube, I don't understand what you mean by your conscience is disturbing you. You and I know that I lied. I lied. And each time I see him, I see his innocence written all over his face. I see the burning fire of pain and this makes me feel guilty. Besides, I think I still, I still have great feelings for him. Uzubesh, have you gone crazy? What is wrong with you? Yes, I am going crazy. I am going crazy and I need to speak the truth and free myself before I go completely crazy. My good friend, I beg you in the name of whatsoever you respect so much, please, don't do what you're thinking about doing. You want me to continue to live in lies for the rest of my life? Usubishi. Really? Usubishi, we've not come this far for you to blow things up at this very minute. What do you think will happen when you're done telling the so-called truth? Don't you know the prince might get disappointed and leave you? The king might even order you out of this palace with your unborn child. Your integrity is at stake here. Choma, the same thing you told me that put me into this mess I am in right now. Chama, let me tell you, at this point, I do not care about my integrity. I do not care about the consequences my action will bring. Listen, I must say the truth. I must free myself and everybody from this bondage. Are you really the one talking? Uzubechi? have you forgotten what will happen if you return to our village with this pregnancy? I do not care. I do not care. My mind is made up and I don't care what you or anybody will say about it. I must say the truth and free myself. We, your children and loyal servants, humble ourselves before you. In the journey of life, men are bound to encounter different things. But in all, 
destiny must prevail. Mm. No matter how strong or powerful a man is, he cannot change his destiny. Virgins of this great kingdom that chose not to defile themselves, no one, nobody will temper with your destiny. May it be as you have spoken, great servant and I of Nemili. Today, the fulfillment of destiny we take a different twist. As a one in a can empty, ah, Yahweh, as a one in a can empty, ah, Yahweh, why you were of the Yama, ah, Yahweh, on that you look at you, ah, Yahweh, on your leg, where we are, ah, Yahweh, and I'm on that can empty, ah, Yahweh. Yes, I enjoyed every bit of the story. Yes. <laughs> okay, tell me. What's your plan for today? I mean, your program. God, that would be nice. Awesome, beautiful. I can't wait. <laughs> Okay, let me let you prepare for work. Have a nice day. Mm -mm. I love you too. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Mm. 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 You can see it's working. What? You know what I'm talking about. So cut the pretense. Okay, yes, it's working very, very well. And I pray it continues like this. Oh, come on. I told you to give David a chance because I know he's a nice man and he loves you a lot. But you sure about that? Sharon, you know the truth. So, I asked you for something. Let's go inside so you give it to me. Please. <laughs> Mr. Bechi, okay. we are all here now. Could you please tell us what you told me some minutes past? Thank you, Your Highness. I met Prince Unadus here when he came to my community for his NYC program. We fell in love. And I got pregnant for him before he passed. He promised to get back to me as soon as he gets to his people. He left my community and never came back. I was devastated. I didn't know what to do. Since he failed his promise. And then I met Prince Obino. I decided to tell him that he was responsible for my pregnancy. Since it is a taboo for a girl to get pregnant in my community. He was happy. And then he decided to marry me. I was shocked on that fateful day. On the presentation to the royal house to see Prince Unatuzi. I was confused. I was surprised. 
I didn't know what to do. So, I decided to play along as my friend Choma advised me. My king, I am very sorry for what I have caused the royal household. Please, please, you people should find it in your hearts to forgive me. I am sorry. Please. The truth is, Prince Unato's here is the father, my unborn child. Uzbejku, you are mad. Why am I even calling you Uzbejku? It's obvious you're not. You are Uzbejku because no Uzbejku will do this. I feel like I, I, I feel like strangling you to death. Oh. What are you saying? No, what are you saying, Father? How do we explain this? The medical report made it clear. That the pregnancy is mine. So what is she saying? Isabel, what do you have to say about that? About that, I, I really do not know what happened. I was surprised myself. The truth is, Obina is not the father of my child. I was already pregnant for Prince Natuzi. Before I met him, even though I, I never knew Natuzi is a prince. <clears throat> My king, maybe the doctors made a mistake. They are human beings, you know. <laughs> they are human beings. So how could you do this? How could you do this to my family? You told my two sons against each other. I am sorry. I was misled. I, did, I didn't know what I was doing. This is ridiculous. I, in fact, this is irritating, annoying, confusing. I can't stand this. Dear woman. So what do we what do we do now? Father. Zube has been the only woman I've ever loved. I still love her. And I'll forever love her. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. Father, I want to marry her. No matter what has happened. Isabel, sit down. When you leave here, go straight and tell that your friend, Choma, to pack her things and leave this palace. Her likes are not welcomed in this compound. She's a bad friend. Prince Nadozie, my elder brother. I did not call you here for us to fight. No. In fact, I called to say I am very, very sorry for disrespecting you, for fighting you. I'm so sorry, okay? Please, forgive me. I mean, you are my elder brother. We shouldn't be fighting. So I'm sorry for all the wrong I did. Please forgive me, okay? Obi. Obi, no. On my own part, I will say I am very sorry for my constant outburst. You see, I was caught in the web. And I've come to realize that family is everything. Of course. And as a matter of fact, 
family is supposed to stick together as one. Thanks for your sense of maturity. Yeah. I want us to start up on a new slate. Like, let bygone be bygone. I've forgiven you and my heart is pure. New slate. New slate. What <laughs> <laughs> love, bro? Thanks Finally, the evil rain has fallen. And the worst has happened. <laughs> Girls of our land. Nemiri. Why did you allow this to happen to your people? What an evil and wicked destiny. What? Girls of our land, Nemiri, please, men, men, look at what the bitterness of men has brought upon us, hmm. Nemiri, please, gods of our land. Please, do not, do not allow us to witness this evil again in this kingdom. Never, 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 never. What? What did you say happened to my son? What happened to him? I went to prison in Abuzia's room as you dropped to check on him. Uh -huh. Only for me to see him lying dead on the floor. <laughs> Get the guard, get the guard quickly. I don't want to believe anything will happen to my son, please. What is this? Eh? Alaribe! 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 Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? There is a problem. Have you not heard? Heard what? Hi. The main strength of our king has fallen. Oko Sisa Dana no Bieze. Prisim Nadosie is there. Hey! What happened to him? I don't know what happened to him. That is why I'm rushing to the palace. So let me go there and find out what exactly happened. Huh? Let, let's go ahead to the residence. Oh, yeah. yeah, Monica. Good day. How are you? I'm fine. And how are you doing? I'm good. Looking for Sharon? Yeah. Is she not at home? Oh no, she went out early this morning and hasn't returned. But have you tried calling her on the phone? Yeah, I tried. I, I tried calling her several times, but, but her number is switched off. Honestly, I'm really, I'm really worried. Where could she be then? But I'm sure she's fine wherever she is right now. I just hope so. Don't worry yourself, okay? She's fine. I bet I should take my leave now. Okay, um, um, David, I must say this. You see, you guys look great together. You look perfect. Please do not let anything come in between you two. Keep doing what you're doing, please. It's okay, dear. Thank you very much. And I'll never forget that. <laughs> Thank you so much. You look very sad and moody. What is the matter? Am I not supposed to be? It depends. 
Don't tell me you are not moved by the death of Prince Nadezi and all the happenings in this palace. I never said so. I'm tired of this place. I really want to go. If not that Prince Nadezi's death is still fresh, I would have gone back to my family. I'm getting scared of this palace. Same here. But what could be responsible for Prince Nadezi's death? Please, I don't want us to discuss about that now. I don't want to put myself into trouble, please. Nichi, I welcome you all. Many jacket on a mock or chapel. The autopsy result is out. And the result is showing that my son, Prince Nadezi, was poisoned. Hey! Huh? And that is why I want to ask you, Prince Obina, because you were the person with him that night, at least the last person with him that night. So, with regard to this new development, what do you have to say? Father, Yes. Are you suspecting me? Prince Obina, we are not here for jokes. Tell us why you sent your brother to an early grave. Uh, Prince Obina, um, tell us the truth. What angered you to the point of killing your blood brother? We want to know. My elder, sorry to say this, but I'm disappointed in both of you. Why would I kill my elder brother? Why? Please, I have no hand in my brother's death. I'm innocent. Obina, we understand you were the last person with him that night. You had some good times together, took a drink together, and went to bed. Oh no, I am not disputing that fact. I had a good time with my elder brother before he went to bed that night. But that does not mean I killed him. Why would I kill my elder brother? What for? Please, my elders. This is painful. I did not. I cannot. I have no hand in my brother's death. Even though you are claiming to be innocent, Kedozi Kukutena Abodi Nimobo Ufuji Diena Miri Nana Miri Ufuese Nenu. How come the two stones inside the boat, one boat, one sinks to the bottom and one is floating on top of the water? How come that your brother is dead after the night you had together and you are still alive? I swear by the gods I am innocent. I know nothing about my elder brother's death. I'm innocent. <clears throat> Come, baby. Who gave you this very information? From a reliable source. From the palace. This is strange. I can't believe it. <clears throat> Honestly, it's very strange to me as well. Come, baby. Are you sure you heard the person very well? What are you trying to say? Listen. I heard everything the person said, word for word. Honestly, I can't just believe that Prince Obina is capable of this. Why? See, Prince Obina is heartless. Whoever that can do what he did to me is capable of killing. Yes! Sharon, what? You're still angry with him over what he did to you? Uh, no, 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 no. Monica, don't get me wrong. I did not say this because I'm angry. What I'm saying is the truth. Honestly, this whole thing looks very strange to me. We really wanna know who is fooling who. We really wanna know who is killing who. The ghosts are silent, we are in pain. We never can tell who's behind the scenes. So complicated, so irritating. 
You never can solve the puzzle. The more you look, the less you see. It's so complicated, so irritating. You never can solve the puzzle. The more you look. Let's see. As a young man, the kingdom is in pain and will never be the Prince Obin, I guess. Yes. I'm a gentleman from counter terrorist unit. We need you for questioning on homicide issue in our station. Am I under arrest? No, 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 we're not arresting you. We just want to have some discussion with you based on the homicide issue. Abena, you go with me. All right. So Let's go. irritating. You never can solve the puzzle. The more you look, the less you see. It's so complicated. So irritating. You never can solve the puzzle. The more you look, the less you see. It's so complicated. So irritating. You never can solve the puzzle. The more you look. This world is really turning into what I cannot explain. How can a brother kill his own brother? A prince for that matter. I least expected this from Prince Obina. Because of a woman, Makanwani, a village girl at that. I don't know. This boy is heartless. Yes. Very heartless. Oh no. Hmm? Uh, Njoko, uh, what are we going to do? Eh? As it as it stands now. Father Dibi, what do you want to do? Oh, the police have already taken him away. Mm. Let him go. Let him go there and suffer. By the time he passes through the rough hands of the police, he will learn his lessons. Oh no. Mm? Are you saying he's going to come back to this kingdom? Coming back to this kingdom is not the issue. Even if he comes back. Laws, natural laws, and the laws of the land to catch up with him. Nemesis will follow him up. How do you think that our Igwe will allow his son to be banished? The only child that is remaining. Someone that will rule after him. <laughs> I'm not seeing that happening. No. Alaribe, don't worry yourself. When the time comes, we will see how it will go. After all, we're not the people that sent him to do what he did. No. Njoko. I really feel for the king. I feel for him too. Uh, I just wish that all these things didn't happen in the first place. You people can feel for the king or feel for the boy. For me, there is nothing we can do. There is just nothing we can do practically now about the situation. The only thing we can do is to sit back, keep our fingers crossed, why we watch the drama gradually unfold? It's a drama. Let us see unfolding. You have not said anything, Tango. Tell us what happened to your brother. Who killed your brother? Believe me, I don't know. I don't know. I have no reason to kill my own brother. Are you possibly telling me you don't know? What happened to your brother or who killed him? Officer, I showed my life. I have no hand in my brother's death. Every department in police station can be messed with. City, you cannot be messed with. Probably you don't know where you are. I want you to open your gutter mouth right now and tell us what happened to Nagosi. Who killed Nagosi? I swear with my life, I swear by the gods, I swear with whatever you believe in. I have no reason to kill my brother. I, I did not kill him, I'm innocent. I didn't. Your swearing does not make sense to me because these days, the gods don't kill. Tell us what happened to Nina Dozier because you're not going to walk this place free. Except if you open your mouth right now and say the truth, that's the only way you can be free. So you think we are joking with you, right? 
I have no reason to kill my brother. I am innocent. Those that kill do not have much reason sometimes. Let me tell you. When I look at your face, I see homicide. Whether you like it or not, you must give us that information. What happened to your brother? You must give us that information. <sighs> Officer, deal with this man. Oh, yes, may you live long. Are you too? Mm. Your Majesty, it is no longer a news that we are not happy in this community. Mm. Yes. Concerning the incident that Prince Sina Dozier was killed by his own brother, we are not happy. So we have come to you so that we sit and discuss at least some important things concerning the situation. Let you, I greet you all. You go I am all ears, sir. Whatever you think we should discuss, go ahead with it. Um, I want you to know that we are not in any way trying to lecture you on how to run this kingdom. We think it is very important to do what our law says concerning anyone who intentionally kills an innocent man or woman. Mm. Yes. But we all know that the matter is already with the police. So I think it should be better we allow them finish the investigation. It will help us know the truth and know what to do next. Don't you think so? I, Your Majesty, I don't want you to feel that uh, we are trying to add to your problems. All we are doing is to ensure that our laws are kept. Your Majesty, we've heard you. Well, as it is, we have to make a move. We will consult Ezenwani for the cleansing of the land. Mm -hmm. Is it not? Mm -hmm. Since Ezemwo is dead, mm -hmm. and the gods have not been able to choose another for that position, Ezenwani remains the eye of the gods, mouthpiece of the gods, so we have to consult her. And we... Yes. We have to act very fast to avert further misfortune. Yes. Um, you don't cross a river with two legs at the same time. One day, my son will ask questions about his father. And I will look him in his eyes and tell him that his father was killed by his younger brother out of jealousy. Obina, you're evil. You killed your brother a few days to his wedding? Really? Obina, I thought we'd resolve this whole thing. Now tell me. What do you stand to get right now? Tell me! What do you stand to gain right now? Hmm? You must be a fool to think I killed my brother because of you. Why will I kill my brother? No real man will kill a man because of a woman. Talk more of a shameless one like you. After all the stones you pulled, you should be hiding your face in shame. Yes. You killed the man I love. You shattered my life. You will put in jail. You don't deserve love. After all you did to me, your heart is evil. You have a bitter soul. You lack inner peace, and you should be interrogated. How dare you say this to me? You evil man! How dare you? You talk to me in this manner, you evil man! You will rot in jail! I bet you! How dare you! I bet you, you will rot in jail! Are you sick? 
After all you did to me? After all you put me through? Hey, hey, you say this to me? No, 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 no. Let me be. I need to talk to this evil no, man. You take your leave now. You're evil. Don't even let me talk to this evil man. I, I tell you, you will rot in jail. You will rot in jail. Leave. Rubbish. You will die here. Hey, it's enough. Don't make noise here. He's in the police custody as we speak now. Who told you that? I was just coming from the palace. Actually, I went to pay them a condolence visit on the death of uh, Prince Nadozi. Ah. Do you now believe everything I've been telling you? Do you now believe me? Honestly, I have no reasons to doubt you. <sighs> they confirmed from me some minutes ago. I keep telling you that Prince Obina is evil, but you will not listen. I'm happy it's happening like this. Hmm. You know, I actually do not believe that Prince Obina did this. <laughs> How can, I mean, the Prince Obina I know cannot even hurt a fly. Not to talk of killing his own, his own biological brother. Come on. If that's how you want to see it, no problem. <laughs> ah. Babe, uh, I think I have to go and see him tomorrow. Yes. Okay, I won't stop you. At least he's still your friend. <laughs> Come on. He's also your friend. Eh? Yes. Please change topic. Continue what you were doing before. I was enjoying it. Women. Women. My friend, it's okay. Stop crying. See, crying will not do anything for you right now, okay? Just stop crying. <laughs> Choma, I am finished. I am finished. Why me? Why always me? It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. Everything will be alright. Just... Just look at my life. Look at what my life has become. Isabel, remember you're pregnant. You need to be strong right now, especially for your baby. And it's for this pregnancy I got into this condition. What am I doing? What am I doing here? Now tell me, what am I doing here? If I had known, I would have aborted this baby. Mm -hmm. Or stayed back in the village and faced the consequences. Listen. Instead of coming back here to face all this. <laughs> Listen, Azubechi. This is not the time to start blaming yourself. I understand how you feel, but you need to take it easy. I was devastated when I heard the news. I, I just had to summon the courage to come see you. I don't mind what the outcome might be. But thank God the king didn't order me out of the palace like I thought he would do. It's okay, stop crying. Hmm? It's okay, it's okay. David, believe me. I'm innocent. I did not kill Prince in Nadozi. I have no reason to kill a full grown man. My blood brother, for that matter. Believe me, I'm innocent. Don't worry, my prince. I believe you. You know, I have this very strong feeling that, that you didn't kill your brother. I mean, how can you possibly kill your own elder brother, your own biological blood? You do? Yes, I do. You know, you and I have come a very long way. 
It's not the things you're capable of. I know you can't, you can't possibly kill your own brother. David, even if I die now, I will die a happy man, knowing fully well that one person believed in me. Thanks for believing in me, David. I am innocent. You will not die, my friend. You know, I've gotten you a lawyer. Yes, I want this matter to be charged to court immediately. And um, I've also gotten you a detective to, uh, uh, to handle the situation. Yes, because I believe the police are not doing every, anything to investigate on the issue. Don't worry, my friend. I'll do everything in my power to make sure that you get out of this mess. David, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. I really appreciate this. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, David. My God will reward you. It's fine, my friend. You'll be okay. My own prince and my duty. I have disappointed you. I have caused you pain and grief. But yet, you still love me. You never gave up on me. Now I know how hard life is living without you. I wish I have never separated from you. Find it. Find it in your heart to forgive me for disappointing you. I am sorry for the pain I have caused you. Forgive me. If I could ask for one thing, it's for you to come to me as soon as possible. Can the royal family do for you? Um, Your Highness, I am Detective Kinsley. I am investigating the death of Prince Nadoze. You are welcome. Thank you very much, Your Highness. I must say I understand what this royal house is passing through. Losing a son is very painful. And I'm here to ensure that an innocent man is not wrongly accused. An innocent man, you said? And who is this innocent man? Prince Obina. Young man, Obina is guilty. Not yet proven, Your Highness. Yes. Um, Your Highness, we all know that Prince Obina is your biological son. Do you really think 
he might want to hurt his own brother, biological brother, despite their differences? You see, I have come to realize something. That the heart of man is both dark, hard, and wicked. You see, nobody can vouch for anybody again, not even husband and wife. Um, Your Majesty, Prince Obinno is your biological son. What do you have to say about this? I don't know what to say anymore. I do not know what to say. I am also surprised that my son, Prince Obina, could do such a thing. Mr. Detective, I advise you to keep out of this case. Obina killed his brother, Prince Nadozi, and I will make sure he faces the law. He will not just go free like that. Yes, he won't go free. What brings you to the shrine? No, no. Where's the one? That's in Kanju. Omen and I are the born are Our tradition is it still intact? Or have the gods forsaken us? I mean, have they turned their back at us? Go straight to the point, oh no. The gods are still with us. They cannot abandon us. Listen, one. For days now, the hair apparent to the throne was poisoned to death. And we have not heard anything from the gods. We were behind all. And we are confused. Does it mean that Prince Obina is actually responsible for the death of his brother? Or do we have to look for the cause of his death from some other persons? Or we, 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 we Worry to... not yourself, or no. For the gods we do their own pain at their own time. Yeah. We, uh, as one, we are familiar with this time. We know, we've been hearing it. The gods will do their thing in their own way. I think no one can hear him in a room with his baby. Only a baby and a baby. The man with the leaking roof. The moment the rain falls, he cries and his goats cry. We are worried. The king is worried. We are worried. There's a wine. Oh no! The evil that men do will only be hidden for a while. But will be revealed later. Soon it will come to open and everyone will see. If an enemy, if an enemy, it's so complicated. If an enemy, if an enemy. Well, baby, um, I think you should go and see Prince Obina tomorrow. He will appreciate it. I have told you before, I don't want to go there. You know, whatever transpired between the both of you, I think this is the time you have to let bygone be bygone. He really needs your sympathy this time. He does not deserve it. Whatever thing he's going through now, that is what he truly deserves. And I hope he rots in jail. Come on, don't say that again. See, baby, I can be a bitch when I want to. You know, I'm kind of happy both of you broke up. Every disappointment they say is a blessing in disguise. Thank you for giving us a chance. And I promise to be the best man in your life. Hello, Prince Charming. This is your chance. Prove it. <laughs> Trust me, I won't blow it. And I love you. I love you too. Okay, so now tell me, does that mean that you're going to see Prince Obina? Oh, it's not the case. At least for my sake. Come on. Come here. Come here. 
So, how are you? I'm not fine. But I'm happy to see you. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Uh, David told me that the detective and lawyer he got for you are working pretty hard to get you out of this place. But my father is making it difficult for them because he wants me to spend the rest of my life in jail. You don't have to blame your father. Consider the fact that you're having too much problems with your brother, Prince Nadusi. But all the same, not to worry. The person that is behind us will be revealed and brought to book very soon. I hope so. You and David are now together, right? Yes. I'm sorry for hurting you. In fact, I regret losing you. David is, is a lucky man to have you. You're priceless. You're a special woman. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Um, thank you. See you soon. Outside. I hope so. Young lady, what is your name? My name is Agatha. Agatha, you are the chief maiden in this palace, right? Yes, I am. I am Detective Kingsley. I am looking into the death of Prince Nadozier, who died of food poisoning. Agatha, what do you have to say concerning that? Nothing. I don't know anything about his death. On that night, he had a dream with his brother, Prince Obina. Tell me, who served the drink? Prince Obina did. Did you actually see Prince Obina collecting the wine and the glasses? No. So who then served the drink? The queen asked me to bring a bottle of wine. When I got to the kitchen, I met her with Prince Obina. I gave her the wine and left. Which simply means you don't even know if it was the prince or the queen that served the drink. Yes. Thank you very much for your time, Agatha. The land has become so much. Nemiri, it is time for you to reveal the hidden truth. Hmm. The evil that men do can only be hidden for a while, but later we prevail. Nemiri. Nemiri, this is the time for me to offer to you a great sacrifice for you to expose them. Go. Go and get me the items. Go! As a one in a canonji, as a one in a canonji. May you live long, Your Highness. Mr. Detective, what are you doing here? Haven't I warned you to stay out of this case? 
Um, yes, you did, Your Highness. Sorry. Um, but I'm here to see the Queen. What for? Um, Your Highness, if we must confirm if actually Prince Obinna killed his brother, Prince Naduzie, then I really need to speak with the Queen. Young man, I hope you know what you're doing. What exactly are you saying? Um, Your Highness, I think your wife, the Queen, has a hand in the death of your son. What? Please save me. Your Highness, they want to kill me. Don't allow them to kill me. Don't, don't even allow them to take me away from here. I don't want to go to jail. Please, save me. Your Highness, be good. Save me. Just, what, what is wrong with you? Save me, please. Igwe. They are coming. Your Majesty. Tell me, what do you know about the death of your son, Prince mm. Naduze? What have I done? What did I do? Hey, Igwe, save me. Oh, save me, please. Save me. Please. Listen. Listen, please. 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 please, look at my face and tell me something. Did you kill my son, Prince Nadosie? Did you kill him? Answer me now before I strangle you with my bare hand. I, I, I did. did. I did. Eh? I did. What? I, I killed him. I killed him. Hey. What? Hey. What did I do? Hey. What? I, I killed him. I, I, I served him. Poisoned drink. I poisoned it, his drink without letting them know what I, I, I did because I want to get him out of the way so that he won't take what belongs to my son. Why? Why did you kill our son, your own blood? Why? But why will you kill your own biological son? He is not my biological son. I did not give birth to him. Come, come. <laughs> what do you mean by that? What do you mean? I deceived you. Yes. For so many years after I got married to you, the pressure was too much. So much. And I decided to adopt the son. And then I faked the pregnancy. I faked the pregnancy. So, nine months, I went and adopted the child, and that child was Prince Nadozi. So, you've been disturbing me and deceiving me all? I'm not finished. Uh, yes. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. Soon after I adopted him, The God blessed me with my own biological son, Obina. Handsome child. But the doctors found out that he had a problem with his scrotum and that he would never impregnate any woman. So, so, you know all this? So, when the paternity case came up, I went and bribed the doctor. Eh. Mm to give the report in favor of my son. I knew it. I knew there was something wrong what with that resort. After that, she started confessing that the child she had in her womb was Nadoze's child. So I became angry and decided to kill Nadoze so that he would go out of my son's inheritance and become the prince. That's what I did. I did. This is really serious. You are a wicked woman. You are evil. You killed the only man. The only man I truly loved. My God will judge you. You will rot in jail, my God. Do you think I was... I thought of it. Because... Huh? I am not in position to determine what will happen to you. But the law will take its course. Daddy, 
I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to go anywhere. Please, don't let them strike me. Thank you.